Good morning, everyone. Recently, a very disturbed father came up to me and asked me what to do with his teenage son. As many of you know, and it's not a secret, many teenagers, as adults, have issues with davening, and davening in a minion for that matter, and he was wondering what to do. It's a very loaded question. It's a very sophisticated and complex one, but I just want to give one idea that I told him based on the Alter Rebbe, the first Rebbe of Chabad, in honor of today, Yudhet Kislev, the day that he got out of jail and began to reveal the secrets of Hasidus as he saw fit and as he saw the world should know. The Tzemach Tzedek, another Rebbe of Chabad, quotes him on his Perush and Tehillim as saying the following. We say between Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, in the Tehillim we add to Davening, Ki im haslicha leman tivare, with you is forgiveness so that they will fear you. Which makes no sense. In order to fear someone, obviously, you need to be scared of him and not do any sins. What does it mean? In order to fear you, you will be forgiving. If a person's so forgiving, you won't fear them. You'll uh, constantly taunt them and say, I'm sorry, and taunt them again and say, I'm sorry. So how is it that with forgiveness, we fear God? Explains Rav Shneer Zaman Miladi, known as the Al Rebbe, that if God would have come up to us and say either or, namely, you will do all the mitzvot or that's it, we would make no deal with him. It's like someone that owes someone else a lot of money and he doesn't have all the money to pay back. If you don't sit down and try to make a plan of payments, then there's nothing to talk about. He doesn't have $100,000 to pay you right now and therefore there's nothing to talk about. There'll be no relationship. But if the person comes and says, I forgive you for not giving back the money all at once, let's sit down and make a plan so that eventually you'll pay it all back, then there'll be a relationship. So says the Alta Rebbe. If God comes to us and says, I do forgive you as long as you have a plan, as long as you have a gradual plan to eventually, eventually do all the mitzvot, then of course you'll fear him because there is a relationship. God's sensitive to your needs and you're sensitive to God's needs. And that's what I told this father. I said, to say to your son at this moment, daven three times a day, either all, you'll get nowhere. On the other hand, to tell him not to daven at all is also not an option. You have to, in my opinion, start slowly. Maybe, Baruch Shammah, Rashra Yishtabach, with the Birkos Kriyat Shema and the Amida at the beginning, then add on a little bit. Obviously, eventually, Min Chomayrev, and then Minyan. But you have to do it in such a way that you're sensitive to his needs and he's sensitive to what you believe is your needs that's the best for him wishing everyone a happy Yutet Kislev and a wonderful day